How you doing, Frank Tadana? Hey, John, I'm doing good. How are you? <laughs> well, you're actually in Grand Rapids today. What a beautiful day, huh? That's a gorgeous, gorgeous afternoon. Yeah. Well, let me tell you, you're in Grand Rapids today, but we know that you're going to be speaking to our kids here. Uh, can you tell me at all, just uh, in, a sh in a short way, of what uh, baseball has meant to your life and how that uh, plays a role in your faith as well? Well, you know, John, from baseball for me has just been a major, major player in, in my life. I started when I was age seven and played it, uh, you know, got to the professional level and really played ball competitively till I was 40. So that's 33 years of baseball and loved every minute of it. Taught me an awful lot of lessons. Uh, it was fun to practice, uh, enjoyed the competition. Um, you know, and as far as my, my faith, one of the things it did, because you don't, you know, uh, you get injured at times, you can't play. Uh, at a pro level, my total significance was wrapped up in being Frank Tanana, the star baseball player. But when I hurt my arm, it got me searching for uh, something else because you know I could have been done at age 25 with the game. So what it led me to was a uh, personal relationship with Jesus Christ. It got me searching. Uh, a friend of mine told me about the Bible told me about how I need to read it, invited me to a Bible study, uh, soon came to realize and understand just how much God loves me and uh, how much Jesus loves me in particular and died on the cross for my sins and that uh, I need to find my significance in Him. He's the one that rose from the dead and that this baseball comes and goes but eternal life is a long, long time. And it was just great to find, uh, find Christ uh, be able to then realize how baseball fit into this life with Christ, that it wasn't an either or, but that God was happy that I had the talent. He gave me the talent to play baseball, and now he just simply wanted me to play for his glory. And so it was wonderful to be a follower of Christ and, and play baseball for the last 10 years of my life. When you were playing baseball, I'm sure you've uh, seen some good things and some bad things. Uh, when did your faith help you the most uh, during some of those more tougher times? Well, again, it, the, the faith helps when, you know, the, without Christ uh, and you lose a couple of ball games in a row or, or things aren't going your way, um, rather than get down and mope and maybe say or do something stupid that would just... Uh, keep that process going, you're able to then put things into its proper perspective, realize, okay, what can I learn from this, uh, practice harder, get better, have a clearer mind with which to concentrate on the next game or next pitch. And all of that is, uh, you know, what, what Christ has brought into my life. Uh, as, a, as, a, as a parent, um, what can we do to uh, keep sports in check I guess as you said earlier you know sports is a way of of, uh, of it's a way of, of developing and finding out who you are but it isn't the most important thing in the world is no, it? No, no it's not and, and really I think as parents you need to learn not to live your life through your kid you know let, let your child live their own life have their own experience you be their biggest fan biggest supporter uh, you know, you take them to places and, and that's great and, and I thank you for that and your kids thank you for that, but you don't want to, you know, don't, don't let your day rise and fall on the wins or losses or the success or failures of your children. Uh, keep the game in its proper perspective and uh, again, don't, don't live your life through your, your kid. And for the players, I think sometimes, even you said <laughs> wins and losses, they take it so hard sometimes. What advice can you give to the players, you know, about failure? Because baseball really is, there's a lot of failure in baseball. There is. There, there's a ton of failure. And, and the thing I would say is you just have to enjoy the process. You know, you need to enjoy the, uh, the wins. You need to even enjoy the losses because though it doesn't feel good, and I understand that, and it hurts and you hate to lose, and nobody hated to lose more than me, but there, there's just a bigger picture here, and your character is what matters, how you play the game. The fun part of, of, of the game is to try to get better through practice, through perseverance. Um, 
you know, if you didn't have defeats, then the victories wouldn't taste so sweet. So it's just all of that comes into play. But and the other thing I would say too is really enjoy, uh, be a good teammate. You know, really enjoy your teammates and uh, work together. That's the beauty of team sports. You get to know and work with other people, other kids, and uh, enjoy that. Really enjoy the people God's put around you. Well, uh, who are some of your favorite teammates? Uh, some of my favorite teammates were um, uh, with the Tigers in particular. Uh, Alan Trammell uh, was a wonderful teammate. Tommy Brookins, um, Matty Noakes, uh, Dennis Eckersley when I played with the Boston Red Sox. Carl Yastrzemski was a fun teammate. Donnie Baylor, Bobby Gritch, Joe Rudy with the California Angels. Uh, Buddy Bell with the Texas Rangers. Um, just have been so blessed with uh, just a wonderful Joe Orsilek. When I played with the Mets, Joe and I were teammates and, and, and buds. So just a lot of good guys that I got to play with. The biggest thing I'd like to ask uh -huh. is, is uh, now that I think about it, is that process of, of getting better. You know, should you as a parent push your child, or should you be a little softer with that and let them push you? Oh, well, again, I, I think at the age that these kids are at, that you have them, I think uh, pushing is, is the worst thing. I mean, I think if the kid's got the bug and the passion, you just kind of ride it, encourage it, you know, let them play like my folks let me play. They didn't have to push me. I just loved the game, and probably the kids I'm talking to love the game too, or they wouldn't be at this level and doing what they want. So they really don't need anybody else pushing them or putting added pressure or stress on it. They love the game. Let them go play and see where it all works, see where it all ends up. Yeah. Well, thank you for your time. My pleasure, John. Thanks.